today we're headed to the bike shed in London. It's somewhere I've been wanting to go for a little while now. It's got some awesome bikes on display, free bike parking in the centre of London, and some awesome food, I'm told. So I'm gonna be heading down there this morning, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you down at the bike shed. Right, let's see if I can flip my mirrors in. See if we go. God, I feel so much narrower with those mirrors in. That's the way to do it. Baker Street, okay. Here we are, Madame Two Swords. Thank you, London. I can use the bus lane. In Cheltenham, the bus lane is never being used and bikes aren't allowed in it. Bicycles are, but, bicyc but motorbikes aren't and it's just a load of bullshit. You can wait there, mate. So here we are, Shoreditch the trendiest place in England and I think if you use the word trendy you are definitely not trendy it's a pretty cool street art right whatever you do do not blast past the bike shed we've got to act like we belong here and we know where we're going don't want to show ourselves up by looking lost or drop even worse dropping the bike that is the last thing you want to do. Can you imagine the embarrassment? Here we go. The bike shed. Whoop whoop, here we are. As you come into the bike shed, you ride straight through the cafe and into free, secure motorcycle parking, right in the centre of Shoreditch, which is a really nice touch. I feel that the concept of just riding through the cafe is super cool, and you get to see all these cool bikes coming through. While you're there, there's heaps of custom beauties on display, including this Royal Enfield, this BMW R1250R, it's a brand new bike with a super concept feel. There's loads of merchandise and memorabilia, patches, and even a barber shop if you want to get your hair cut. Royal Enfield 1901 Sprint, looking like something straight out of Cyberpunk. Suzuki Retro GP style custom from Sticky Speed Shop. T-shirts, helmets, littered around more custom bikes. And the breakfast was delicious with fat herby sausage, thick cut streaky bacon, fancy beans and sourdough bread. Coffee was great also. Whilst I was there and completely by chance I bumped into a couple of YouTubers that I'm subscribed to. They invited me to ride through London and I've left a link to their channels in the description below. Cheers mate. Riding in formation through London was a great experience, so I'm going to share the ride with you. So I bumped into uh, Harvey Rides Bikes, who's at the front, and uh, Guy Markham and a few of their mates, which is pretty decent. Yeah, they're a real sound bunch of guys, and they're better at filtering in London than me, that's for sure. That's Harvey on the left, I think that's his mate on the right. He's riding a Royal Enfield, very nice. I haven't seen any Haribo fly out yet from Harvey's bike. We go to the left. If you haven't seen Harvey's video yet of him giving out Haribo to random strangers on his bike, go and check it out. I've left the link in the description. Sponsored by Haribo. It 
It wouldn't be a ride with Harvey unless you were given the choice, Tankfastics or Starbucks. Oh. Which do I prefer? Oh, Tankfastics. I was just saying that this video is sponsored by Haribo. It's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more videos from me hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you fancy a chat leave a comment in the box below I do like that Royal Enfield what is it called? <laughs> got a street scrambler as well God, I love it. <laughs> Is it not? Is it called a shotgun? Is it called a shotgun? Yeah. Yeah. It looks mint. I think Harvey's currently got this bike on loan from Royal Enfield so he can do a review. Riding through tunnels is always great fun. So that's the end of our ride with Harvey Rides Bikes and Guy Markham. Let's see some of the rest of London. Ah, there's uh, London City Airport there. I've never actually used my mirrors turned in like that. I can see why people do it. Filtering through London is so much easier. O2 Arena, cable cars, man taking a piss. So here we've got the financial district of the UK. Look daddy, it's a skyscraper. He's got a whole f***ing window garden on his roof. There's the shard. In all its glory. I think that's the biggest building in the UK, isn't it? Tower Bridge. No, oh, come across just as the lights come on. Amazing. Look at that. That's London. That is London. I kind of don't really want to filter, filter. I want to take it in a bit. It's a nice M3 that. Very nice. It's just not been too bad riding through London really. I think it's been absolutely fine. You have got to keep your eyes on a swivel and just be aware. Tommy feels that does smell like some pretty nice foods going on in there. Look at that. Don't know if you could see that, but a load of uh, like tropical parrots just flew, flew through. There you go, there's the MI6 building. Earlier on, I mentioned the London Motorcycle Show. If you'd like to see more about that, click this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.